Hi there, welcome back to Friend Shames. It's time for a Saturday shame. I hope this video will be okay because I was kind of unlucky a couple of days ago and I broke my screen on the phone into pieces. I hope the camera picks up and things looks great. <sighs> We're gonna do a shame. I was lucky to get this. This is the twig razor from leaf shaving. I was lucky enough to borrow this on loan from a fellow Norwegian watch shaver. It's a great razor from leaf shaving over in the States. And I <laughs> tried, it out, tried it out and actually liked it so much. So I, uh, I, um, I <laughs> lost my words. So I switched some things with him and I really like it. It's a twist open, it's a single edge, you just unscrew it like that and then the top plate goes like that and you just the same way uh, down. Uh, the cool thing is they use these blades, so you just take uh, the blade, you uh, snap it in half inside the um, inside the paper and I have a snapped one here which is a um, Gillette Nasset half a blade a freshly new so you're gonna put that there you just unscrew the top plate goes off like that and then it's kind of a little magnetic thing there so just put the blade, let's see if I can show you. It can on two, um, two small dumps that the blade rests on there and it's a magnet and then you just screw it down and it locks everything in place. And it's straight and aligned. The soap is a soap I used on. I have two days of growth. I didn't use it yesterday, so that was the day before that. On Thursday, the V60 for Phoenix and Bow. Great coffee, chocolate scented soap. Talon based. I have it soaking here from Good England. Brush is also an English one. This is the Simpson Trafalgar T2 with the sovereign fibers. We're gonna. Give that a soak and shake, and load up the soap. So, hope you're having a good weekend. It's hot over here again. We've been in high 80s today. Been to the beach with the kids, playing and simming, and building sun castle and all that kind of stuff. So it will be nice with a shave, especially considered I didn't shave yesterday. So the T2 is a great little brush. I think the knot is 24 millimeters, and it has a good backbone to it. That should be pretty much more than enough. I'm gonna take some cold water to the face. Yeah, so the twig is um, the leaf for making two SEs or single edge razors. It's the twig and the torn. The torn is a little bit more efficient, I think. The twig is mild, but it's buttery smooth and gives an incredible good shave. It's the it's second uh, single edge razor I've tried, as many of you probably know. I do have the Blackland Wector in stainless steel. One thing that surprised me is the weight of the twig. It has a quite a good theft to it. And this is in the mercury finish. I don't know how well the camera picks up that color, but it's quite cool. Uh, I don't know what kind of metal twig is made from. I tried to find out on their web page, but it didn't say. So if any of you know, 
Please let me know, know down in the comments. Yeah, nice warm summery weather here now also. This is not a very summery scent with coffee chocolate, so we're gonna use some snake bite after shave to brown it off and make some uh, cooling. This is way too much leather, but that's okay. It's really soft, this uh, silver and fiber knots from Simpson. And it gives a good massage. Machines. I do prefer the T3 mostly because the handle is bigger, makes for uh, not as much mess. The Phoenix and Bow are great soaps. Really easy to work with. Just look. <laughs> this is a nice leather. So I'm excited how the twig works with two days of growth. I have only using it at one day of growth, so we will see. One thing I'm a little bit worried about is this screw doesn't lock up very tight, so it's kind of it loses up quite easy. So try not to. Unscrew that one shaving. Really easy to find the angle, just lay it like that and shave. It reminds a little bit of a of a um, cartridge racer, so it will probably ease the switch from cartridge to more traditional wet shaving. It's buttery smooth, I tell you. Mm. It's a really nimble head, so it's really easy to get all the way up to your nose, nose trails. The handle is a little bit slippery when you get soap on your fingers, so one alum block could help with that. Hmm. I found that one. I pressed the razor. What an idiot. I pressed the razor to get grip on it because I have kind of slippery fingers. 
and then go pay him for that. So as you can see, even if it's a mild eraser, it can cut you. Say it did a pretty good job there on the first pass. But there's still stubble left to be taken care of. Really slippery soap. You can't feel the blade in this one, it's so smooth. But as you can see, it's a blade there. It bleeds quite a lot there. Hmm. Well, I think so. Number tres. I think we will need some alum or styptic on that little cut so much in there. The screen mechanism is the opposite direction of what I'm used to on the winter gillettes. So you unscrew the same way you tighten the winter gillettes and opposite. I don't know why. But that's how it's designed.
Yeah? Quite a lot of blood there. We're gonna rinse off. Cold water. stone which is starting to get quite thin well used yeah see if that seals it up not much of a feedback anywhere else That little bugger, it continues bleeding. Hmm. Let's see. Bring up the old styptic as well. That should do. Put that away. Rinse out the mug. The ugly mug. It was beautiful sea temperatures today. I mean, it was so hot. I guess. I don't know. It's very shallow waters there if i should take a wild guess the sea temperatures were probably mid 70s yeah i would say around mid 70s really really good i just rinse off Guess that little cut will start to bleed again when I'm putting on the aftershave. This is pure water, alcohol, and mental. Good old fine snake bite. I love it. Always have. That'll wake you up in the morning, that's for bloody sure. Look. Just a tiny, tiny bit left. Oh, baby, that's cold. Ooh. Let's see. A lot of leather left in that knot. The leather has a brownish color to it. Let's see if it starts to bleed again. Maybe we're lucky.
stout. Ja. Yeah. I think that all the men uh, in combination with that styptic stopped the weeping. We're gonna finish off with some Nivea Balm. This is good stuff. Rare, widely available. And an enjoyable scent. Really soothing after a day in the sun from a rather sore skin. Wow, really close shave. That razor had no problem at all with the freshness that to deal with two days of growth, as you probably saw. Really smooth shave. I'm really happy with that. Okay, let's do a quick recap before I leave you. This video was mostly about this bad boy, the twig from leaf shaving, single edge razor which takes half the blades, really cool. Uh, I really like the loading mechanism. Twist to open, opens like that and closes like so. So, brush was my Simpson, the Trafalgar T2 24mm Sovereign Synthetic Knot. Soap was V60 by Phoenix and Bow or in uh, the UK. And I finished off all off with some uh, snake white aftershave and Nivea bowl. So that's all for now, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And until my next video, goodbye.